Now on my two port 5200, wasn't responding to the number one controller input. The joystick had worked, the start, reset, and the pause buttons worked, and the fire buttons worked, but the keypad wasn't working. And after doing some troubleshooting using the Atari 5200 service manual that's available online, I got it down to this little decoder chip right there. Well, actually that little ombre over there. So, I got a nice little socket, since these aren't socketed, I'm going to put a socket in there, make it easy to replace. And I got some new chips. So we'll get this thing replaced and give it a try. So now the old chip's been removed, I clean out all the uh, holes in the circuit board, so now I can install my little socket here. Get that stuck into the board, get it soldered in. That'll make swapping out this chip much easier. Eventually I'll do all these other chips as well, but for now I'm just going to do this one. So let's get this soldered in the board and uh, install the new chip. Well, the new chip's mounted with the new socket. So now I'm going to hook this thing up and give it a quick test. Alright, now let's test the uh, keyboard inputs here. Press number one. Hey, there we go. Number two. Number three. Number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, asterisk, zero, pound. Awesome. Start, pause, reset. Cool. So there we go. Just a little simple chip replacement and I have a functional port number one again. Thanks for watching.